WCM Christian Music 99, the music of Rich Mullins, My One Thing. Rich, you are coming to our area. I've got Rich Mullins with me here right now to the Calvary Baptist Church in Canton in June, and welcome. Well, thanks, man. I'm looking forward to being up there. We were just up there last fall at at uh, Concordia College, and we had a ball. Yeah. Man, there's a pizza place downtown Ann Arbor that I can't remember the name of it, but they had great pizza. So I plan on eating a lot. <laughs> We've just started playing a new song from you called While the Nations Rage. Tell me about that song. Well, it's, um, it mostly is just kind of a paraphrase with a, with a little bit of my own editorial comments uh, based on the second psalm. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just think... You know, so much is going on, and, and I uh, I look around, you know, the, what's going on in China and Romania and with the Iron Curtain coming down, all the changes going on, and, and it would be very easy, I think, to get confused and to know. I mean, I think I think some things are happening that, that we can't really understand, and some of it looks really good, some of it looks really dangerous. And I think that it would be real easy to get scared, it would be real easy to get... Uh, carried away with some kind of naive kind of belief that somehow we mankind really will pull himself up by his bootstraps and do something decent for a change. Um, I think in the midst of that, the only salvation a Christian is going to have is to focus on Christ and is to remember that he is our hope, that he is our salvation, and not the plots and schemes that mankind comes up with. The whole... Uh, music community right now seems to be wanting to do something good. Now Paul McCartney wants to save the earth. Uh, oh, Phil Collins does a song for the homeless, and we've got all this stuff happening. Uh, do you think that maybe Christian music had an influence? I don't know. I don't know if if they take Christian music very seriously or not. Um, I think I think there are some really genuinely good people who are lost who are clueless and I think that that uh, you know that people are not non-Christians because they're bad people Uh, people are non-Christians because they have not yet allowed uh, they have not yet submitted themselves to the Lordship of Christ and some of them are very good people I have friends who have had a a terrific impact on my life and who I think God has even used to uh, instruct me who were not Christians and their goodness does not make them any more saved. Yeah. Their lostness doesn't make them any less good. You are also on the road quite a bit on weekends, but you're also going to school full time, and uh, that's sort of a new atmosphere for you, for you. Tell me about that. Well, I um, I don't know. I just feel like uh, God is calling me to get ready for for some missions work, and um, I need to be ready when it's time to go so I'm in school and if he uh, does lead me in, onto a mission field I'll be ready and if he doesn't a little schooling isn't going to hurt me in any way. In right. final let's talk about the concert you're coming up uh, in June who do you want to show up? Uh, everybody I want every. <laughs> I want everybody there. I want thousands of you. Um, I uh, yeah, gee, yeah, uh huh. Just okay. whoever. I mean, I I don't gear my concerts right. to any particular demographics. Yeah. You know, it's just yeah. kind of, I just kind of do what I do, and if you connect with it, great. And if you don't, leave. Okay. Rich Mullins has been our guest, and uh, appreciate your music, and we'll look forward to seeing you in June. Thanks, Rich. Yeah, thank you very much. We'll be back with more in just a minute.